looking at all of those things that I remember back in the 70s, I stood here back then and protected the senators as they went in. Looking out the window at the monument, I just stand out on that west front. It was cold out there, but that's a beautiful scenery. In a younger version, I would come back. I started working for Capitol Police. It was October the 15th, 1974. I called them every chance I had because I wanted to get hired. It was a little scary at first, but then I said, I can do this because I come from a strong background in North Carolina anyway. Go for what you want and do it and pray on it too. Back when I came on the department, they did not have female uniforms. When I came on day shift, there was no locker room for females. I worked on the uh, midnight shift for maybe about a year or two. And then I asked for a transfer to day shift because it was hard to get a babysitter for that time. And they worked with me and I was able to get on day shift. And then I had to be in the break room with all the guys. And it was almost like nobody really wanted to talk to you because because as a matter of fact, one officer told me, don't you think you would feel better at home in the kitchen? I said, no. It wasn't that easy because, you know, they gonna make jokes about different things. But then I hung in there because I threw some jokes back at them. They said, oh, you're all right. But I survived all of that and I got their respect and I had their respect back. Back in 1998, we lost two of our members, two of our police officers. And it was hard to work through that because I knew them both and I worked personally with them both. And it came over the radio that the captain had been breached, the two officers was down. And it went over the radio who they were and they locked everything down. We all pulled together and looked out for each other because we're all we have. And we want to protect everybody up on the hill. It was like a family, and that's what I'm wanting for this department now, to be more like a family. Pull together because it can be done. It makes me feel good to see so many women and in the ranks of moving up. That's even better. And when I look around, I say, thank you, Jesus. It's changing, and it's changing for the better. I'm not a person that liked the limelight. So when everybody said, but you made history, I said, I did. I said, well, and I thank God for that, because to me, I was just a normal person that wanted a job and was gonna get paid $10,500. I wouldn't trade it for anything.